Good morning to all who are with us this morning in our devotion here at uh, JJ Good Morning. It is my prayer and uh, joy that you can be with us learning from the Word of God. May we be continually encouraged with the message from the Word of God. This is our spiritual feeding, our spiritual food to nourish our spiritual life as well. So let us take this as a privilege and an opportunity. I also trust that you are doing well by the grace of God. Enjoying your work at the Uniship and the group of companies that we have. And again, uh, join me please as uh, we open in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, God and loving Father, we come to you with all our heart giving you, Lord, this wonderful opportunity that we can learn from the Bible, the Scripture, your Word, the Word of God, on our morning devotion. I pray, Lord, that it's one of us, all of us, who belong to Uniship Group of Companies, from our chairman down to every employee, Lord, every employee of the company. Be with your blessings. Be with your keeping be with your leading also, Lord God. Continue to give us good health and strength and continue, Lord God, to touch our lives and keep us safe against COVID as well. Lord, I pray for our spiritual nourishment as well today. Let your word, Lord God, be a blessing to us. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. Amen. Let me read the, the scripture passage that we have for today's devotional. And... Um, it is in John chapter 1. This is in the New Testament, the book of John. Chapter 1, verse 43 to 51. Allow me to read the Bible. The next day, he purposed to go into Galilee. And he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, of the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can any good things come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you that I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. That is the account from the book of John, the Gospel, where at the beginning of the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, He had called His disciples to follow Him. And um, some of them were fishers, fishermen uh, from, from Galilee. That is where the Sea of Galilee is. And uh, here he found Philip and as well as Nathaniel. From our daily bread, it says, The Savior who knows us. It's just, it tells us that if you are in a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, if He is your Lord and Savior, He knows you. He knows us. He knows what is in our in our heart. He knows what goes into our mind, into our lives, because our Lord Jesus Christ is an all-knowing Son of God. He Himself is God. And uh, just like in the account that we have read. From the Daily Bread, it is entitled, The Savior Who Knows Us. And uh, the writer would introduce about a father and a son and in their relationship, the father would know, would know his son better. That what time is it? 
my son asked him from the back seat as he was driving. It says, he said, 5.30. I knew exactly what he'd say next. The father said, no, it is 5.28. I was his face light up. Gotcha. His beaming child said with a smile. Then the father felt delighted as well. The kind that comes from knowing your child the way only a parent can. So in this conversation between a dad and a son, the father knows what would be the statement or the words, the next statement of his son. And like any parent who are with us today, I am a parent as well. I have three children. We got to know them and we know them. We know how they will respond to um to us when we wake up them when we wake them up in the morning okay and also we know what they will want in their meals huh? um i i am the one cooking for the family and i know the favorite of my three boys what they want for for ulam, for bayan, for their food. And as well as we also know countless interests or desires or preferences by our children. Uh, but for all of that, we can never know them perfectly, what really goes into their mind and into their hearts. Uh. We can never know them perfectly inside and out. Unlike the Lord Jesus Christ would know us. Huh? The way our Lord knows us. Why? Because He is an all-knowing God. So we cannot keep something. We cannot hide something from our Lord. If you are lying, He knows that. If you are having something and desiring something for our souls, sometimes we become uh, selfish. Yeah? He knows that. And uh, in the account here, we catch a glimpse of the kind of intimate knowledge that Jesus has of his people in John chapter 1. As Nathaniel, who... Philip had urged to meet Jesus, moved toward him. Jesus pronounced, and he said, Truly, you are an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. And that had startled Nathaniel. And he responded, How do you know me? Somewhat mysteriously, Jesus replied that he had seen him under the fig tree. That was even before the Lord Jesus Christ came to the place and found Nathaniel, for Nathaniel was under the fig tree. So, um, it shows that, that Jesus knows even the future. Uh, he knows that that account, or where was Nathaniel even, he was not there. We may not know why Jesus chose to share this particular detail, but it seems Nathaniel did and he was overwhelmed. He responded, Teacher or Rabbi, you are the Son of God. By just a simple statement of our Lord Jesus Christ to Nathaniel, telling him that I saw you, you were in a fig tree before he came. With that simple knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, it moved Nathaniel to realize that indeed Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the one being said by the prophets in the Old Testament. This is what had Philip said. He said here, Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote. He is Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So that was the confirmation made by Philip to Nathanael. We found him whom Moses in the Old Testament, the 
the Pentateuch, the five books written by Moses that speaks of who the Messiah is, and the writings of the prophets as uh, he was prophesied. And uh, indeed, the fulfillment of those prophecies is, is here now with our Lord Jesus Christ. And that was the the um, the response of Philip to that when he said, we found him whom the Old Testament, the writings of Moses, and the writings of the prophets are speaking about. So he said, come and see him, Jesus of Nazareth. Well, um, remember that uh, Jesus Christ maybe or was born from in Bethlehem, but they are from Nazareth because of the the census that was for Mary and Joseph. They have to travel to to Bethlehem, where they are from, the tribe of uh, uh, they're Bethlehemites, and uh, they have to run back to Nazareth because of uh, the the decree to kill little boys from two year old below. We know that story and the Christmas story. And indeed in Nazareth where the Lord Jesus Christ grew up. Okay, he said here Nathaniel said, Can anyone good thing come out of Nazareth? Knowing that Nazareth is but a small town <clears throat> um I had the privilege to be in Nazareth during last 2017 and it is a big city now with so much to see as well that is where we stayed when we were in in that area and had our tour to the Sea of Galilee to Cana and uh, we stayed in Nazareth and it's a nice place to to be with right now or today but at that time uh, Nazareth is not that significant, a, a, a village maybe or a town at that moment. And um, indeed, Jesus of Nazareth came from that town and he is more than just, um, he is um, more than just um, an important person. More than just a good thing that would come out from Nazareth. When when Nathaniel said, "Can any good thing come out of Nazareth?" More than just a good thing. It is our Savior. It is our Lord. It is our Redeemer. Jesus Christ came from Nazareth, and that's that's the best thing that we can have that came out of that town. So. Philip said to him, come and see. Inviting Nathaniel to come. Maybe we can do that to people, to friends, to office mates, to loved ones. Inviting them to come to Jesus. Telling them to come to Jesus. Huh? Come and see. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Jesus knows that he is an Israelite. They have, the, they have not met before, but Jesus knows him already. And then Nathaniel asked, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called, called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. How can that be? Jesus Christ just arrived at that moment. But what he said was true, that indeed Nathaniel was under the fig tree. That's a miracle. And that's the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, being an all-knowing God, being the Son of God. He has the power to know things. Uh, he's an all-knowing. Omniscience, the term for that in, in theology. He is an all-knowing God as well. Okay? Then Nathaniel said to him, Teacher, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Again, confirmation of who Jesus Christ is from the mouth of Nathaniel. You are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. 
maybe not at the moment king of Israel politically not that at the moment no? but uh, it is again a prophecy of how when the Lord Jesus Christ will come again and uh, would reign as king of kings and warrior of lords in the millennial reign that he will reign for a thousand years Jesus answered and said to him because I said to you and I have saw you under the fig tree do you believe you will see greater things than this yeah sometimes we say to see is to believe and that what had happened to Nathaniel he believed now that what he had heard and seen from our Lord Jesus Christ uh, before that he was questioning Philip uh, when Philip said we saw what the prophets have prophesied he is Jesus of Nazareth yet he did not believe that at, the, at first but when he saw Jesus and Jesus told him of that that he saw him before he came thus he believed that's why said, Christ said because I said to you that I saw you under the fig tree do you believe friends beloved more than just seeing for us to believe let us also live by faith hmm? faith teaches us that we do not see things we are just simply hoping for things but we put our, 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 our everything into it hmm? the Bible would tell us faith is the substance of things hoped for we are simply hoping at that moment the evidence of things not seen we haven't seen yet yet it serves as an evidence and we trust into that we put our trust and we do that to our Lord Jesus Christ we exercise our faith to him believing him receiving him as our Lord and Savior and because of that Christ said truly truly I say to you you will see the heavens open and the angels of God ascend and descending on the Son of Man you will see greater things than this and that was experienced by Nathaniel after he had followed and obeyed the Lord Jesus Christ and be with the Lord for the next three years he saw the miracles made by our Lord Jesus Christ and we saw here this this morning that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ knows each of us like this and uh, intimately completely and perfectly the way we long to be known by our Lord Jesus Christ we become intimate that is how husband and wife would know its other with intimacy that is how the Lord Jesus Christ would know us that's why we are to be intimate with our Lord yeah? we are to enjoy that moment when we talk to him in prayer when we trust him putting our faith in him being intimate being so close huh? completely that is how he would know us in all aspects of our life of our lives he knows it what goes into our minds our thoughts what goes into our heart what we're going to do tomorrow on the day so come he knows that completely and perfectly huh? maybe with your life partner with your husband or with your wife you have been together for quite some times yet there are still things that we don't know from each other there are some things that still we can hide from our partner but not with our lord jesus christ okay and he accepts us completely as he knows us he accepts us completely inviting us to be not only his followers but his beloved friends that is in john chapter 15 verse 15 he calls us friend and that is the inv the invite that is the invitation of our lord jesus christ that we are to come to him all of us who are heavenly laden and are burdened if you wanted to find the rest and peace come to jesus he is inviting us to come to him he knows our thoughts he knows our lives he knows our very situations right now the very condition of our lives the very condition of our heart jesus knows that that's why he is inviting us to come to him come to jesus today come to him he knows what goes to your thought what goes to your heart he didn't even know if you are rejecting him 
if you are saying no to his invite, he knows that. So, what can we do but to come to him and to commit and to trust him with our lives as well? Let's look at the questions being asked in our daily bread. It says, how does it make you feel that you are fully known inside and out by Jesus? Now that you know that you are fully known by Jesus in and out, how do you feel? So we know that we cannot hide anything from Him. So therefore, let us be honest, expose our life to Jesus, confess our sins, believe Him, receive Him as our Lord and Savior, and be in our relationship with Him. For He is our Savior who knows us. The prayer from our daily bread says, Jesus, thank you for inviting me into the adventure of following you. When he invited Philip, when he invited Nathaniel, they followed the Lord Jesus Christ. When he invited James and John, when he invited Peter and Andrew, they followed the Lord Jesus Christ. Here he is now today, inviting you and me as well. Come to Jesus. He knows you. Follow Him in all your life. God bless you all and good morning.